this step is kind of in preparation for our mixing process in really trying to get complete control over every instrument. We've had our guitar, we have a pad, we have our bass, laid out our arrangement. Um, now what I want to do is show you how you can separate your drums, at least using expand. There's other ways to do this with other instruments, and we will learn those as well. Um, but let's just think about how many drums are playing at any throughout the whole song. We have a kick, we have the snare, we have the closed hi-hat, and we have a clap every now and then for those drum fills. So there's four of them. What we need to do for this process is we're going to separate these so that we have our all those kicks, snare, hi-hat, etc. on their own track, and that way we can have complete control over their volume, we can process them differently, we can pan them if we choose to. Um, using your grabber tool, I want you to select the first clip in the song and essentially scroll through and select the last clip in the song. Okay, and then what we're going to do is head over to Event and Event Operations and select in Split Notes. Now usually what this is going to look like is um, gives you a range, but we're going to choose All Notes. And I want you to think about that even though we're talking about drums, they are being triggered by notes, C1, D1, uh, F sharp one, for example. Um, in the action, what do we want to do? We want to split them, and we're going to have them, so I believe this is, starts off on clipboard, we're going to cut them and have them go to a new track per pitch. So each of these notes, again, is a pitch. C is a pitch, D is a pitch. And we're going to end up with, instead of one track with all of our drums on it, we're going to end up with multiple tracks. I hit apply, and now um, all of my drums have been separated. You can see, for example, that looks like hi-hat to me. Um, that's the clap because it only comes up every now and then. Snare drum because I can tell that it's not on beat one. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I take that back. I no longer know. Yeah, this is kick. That's snare. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually, and then this one's actually blank. It took all of it out. So I'm going to name these according to what they are actually now. So I have the hi-hat, the clap, the snare, and the kick. And because these are all mono instrument tracks, I can just drag this thing down here. I can then use this trick of option, click, and drag, which allows me to duplicate these. And they are um, all the same sound, right? So it's session drums in this instance. And at this point, the only reason, ah, eh, they're going to sound exactly the same. Okay. But now I can get rid of this one because it doesn't have anything in it. Its data is completely empty. And I like to see my kick, my snare, then my hi-hat. Actually, I probably want my clap. All right, there we go. Now I have kick just here. And I can really think about this. Like, do I want to raise the snare drum comparatively for this hi-hat? Do I want to pan it off to the left a little bit? We couldn't turn around till we were upside down. And there you have it.